after two children were shot this month in Orange County, we've been telling you how the sheriff's newly formed task force is supposed to cut down on crime. Well, tonight we're asking the sheriff the tough questions. Three weeks in, we want to know if the task force is getting crime results. News 6's Eric Von Anken is here with the answers. Eric. Matt Lisa, the sheriff made it clear from the beginning this task force is a long-term solution. So how is that solution coming along? And what about crime in the short term? We just had a stabbing. Bonnie Heiberger lives on 22nd Street, just off OBT. It's a rough part of town. Three weeks to a month ago, one got shot and killed. And what happened behind her house earlier this month was the last straw for Sheriff Jerry Demings when a nine-year-old girl just sleeping on the couch was hit in a drive-by. The next day, the sheriff formed the Violent Crime Intervention Task Force. That's our concern. A week and a half ago, at the first meeting, more than 150 people, teachers, pastors, and neighborhood watchers, got together to get crime results. Since we last talked, how is this task force getting results? Well, the task force is something that will be put in place that will work over time. Many of the solutions to the issues that we're seeing in which uh, young people are being involved in violent crime is not something that you can solve overnight. Sheriff Deming says the next step now is organizing all of these folks so they can generate ideas to steer kids away from crime. At the end of the day, I really want the community to step forward and provide some positive alternatives for these young people. Well, instead of talking about it, take action and do it. Bonnie says a task force for the long term won't stop the bullets flying in the short term. I won't make it to the long term, but while I'm here, I would like to be able to enjoy my porch. I would like to be able to come out of my house. Well, what I would say to those people is uh, uh, don't look at it as the last, last being half empty. Uh, in this case, what we're trying to do is come up with some positive solutions and uh, you got to give it a chance. And to the sheriff's credit, Bonnie says since that shooting of the little girl in the house behind her, she has seen more patrols in her neighborhood, although that has nothing to do with this task force, which is, again, guys, as the sheriff stresses, a yeah. long-term plan. This, and we know deputies are out there every day getting results slowly, but what are they doing in particular in the short term? Yeah, I asked the sheriff about that. He mentioned a few things. He says, first of all, those increased patrols um, that... Uh, the woman was talking about there, putting private security guards in two rough neighborhoods. This is a pilot program and using special software to predict crime and covert things, guys, mm. that the sheriff says you don't always see. And there is stuff going on that we don't always see. Every day, yeah. and that's also the point of the segment. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric, Very interesting. thank you. Eric, thanks.